back to Bid, Bid, ugh, Big Bites, and today I have a partner with me, which is going to be in some of our videos, Shawnee, and today we're going to be talking about how to um, just pretty much get working at home, just if you're just starting to use a bait caster, and just what you can do to get working at home. Um, one thing, this is the main thing I do, and what I've done for a while now, is I get an old bait, not with treble hooks or anything, just a big hook on there, and I just wrap it all in duct tape. I have an old chatterbait here, and I'm going to show you guys what I do. All right. So, Shawnee's just going to be standing through this, for, through this video. She'll talk every now and then. We'll see. But um, I'm just here just to show you guys and just get her into this. All right. So, one thing that I've always struggled with, well, I haven't really struggled with, I would say. I just, like, wasn't the best at it was the overhead cast. And what I would do with that is come out here like every day and I would practice the overhead cast with a bait caster. Now just every single day. I see how far I can cast it. And I just reel back in, reel back in, reel back in, reel back in. Now I would look for like objects, like positions I want to hit for like flips. If I wanted to practice my flips one day, you know? If you don't know how to do a flip, we'll make a video on that probably. It's pretty much as I just, you know, and I just practice my flips. Let's say like there's a corner over here. This corner is probably going to be like an area where I could flip and I just bob it in there. That wasn't a very good one. I try to get as close to that corner as I can. I have I'm not the best with flips. Not a good one. But that's what we're gonna do and that's what the flip is and that's what I mainly do. And sometimes everyone if you're casting, I see a lot of people do this is where they're like face forward, right? They're fishing off their boat, pond, whatever, and they're face forward out there. And they back up their reel, and they go and get ready to cast, and they go, Oh, I'm gonna, I want to hit that tree, let's say, right in, in front of me. And they cast all the way over there. Reason why is because they're letting that bait go way too early. What you want to do is what took me a while to... Looky there, we got a big one. <laughs> we got a little stick. All right. But what they do is they will, like, let it go too soon. What you need to do is you need to let that lure go right there and i bet you a hundred bucks they will land right in that middle a little bit to the left but pretty close <laughs> you can't get it always perfect especially from this distance but that's on me and another thing that i've always struggled is like the across the body cast if i'm going and i want to cast that way but i can't just, i've always struggled with that i'm terrible at them just casting across the body or you could change hands but I see a lot of people do this and they change I don't know how people do that sorry but I do not know how I've seen guys who did that once and it was weird but um trying to make this quick because I'm freezing sorry if you hear the dogs and oh forgot to mention um comments were turned off on the last video I know I told you guys that comments were on and everything and hit those comments blow it up tell me what you guys want comments were off sorry about that and that's how we're gonna end it on. And she's gonna have to leave real quick. And um, that's what we're gonna end it on. And uh, please like and subscribe if you can, if you want to. If you guys want more content, we'll see if we can get the comments working this time. And thank you for joining us on Big Bikes and we'll see you guys next time.